everyone, Wes Boss here. I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress blog on your website in just a matter of minutes. So by default you usually go to WordPress.org and you go ahead and download WordPress and it gives you this just package of code. Uh, and while that might be great for developers, it's not entirely intuitive for uh, people who are just looking to get up their own WordPress blog. Uh, so if you want to make your um, t own totally customizable blog or website and uh, have all the great things like plugins and themes and mobile ready, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a matter of minutes. So first thing we need to do is uh, to get some hosting set up. So uh, my absolute favorite WordPress hosting is called Bluehost uh, and you can access that if you want the discounted price, you can see it's cross out here. Uh, you can visit westboss.com forward slash bluehost or just click the link in this uh, video description. So once you're on this page, I uh, want to head, go ahead and click get started now. Um, and this is where we check to see if your domain name, your .com, your .org or whatever you're uh, looking to do is available. So I'm going to go ahead and type uh, westboss blog. Check if it's available. If it's available, it will go to the next steps. There we go. If it's not, it'll make some suggestions for you. Uh, so this is the part where we can go ahead and sign up. So I'm going to auto fill that in there. And um, this is the account plan here. It's cheaper if you sign up for 36 months. Definitely recommend it. However, there is a cheaper option if you just want to go one, one month uh, at a time. Uh, we've got a couple check boxes here, which sometimes people get uh, a little distracted by. You don't need any of them. Uh, unless you're specifically looking for one of these services, but go ahead and uncheck them. Credit card info down here uh, and go ahead and click on the next button. Uh, I'm not going to go through this just because I already have my own hosting set up, uh, but you click next and it's going to email you a username and password. So from our next steps there, we just go to bluehost.com and click on the login button in the top right hand corner. What this is going to do is it's going to prompt you for your uh, username and password that they sent you in an email. Um, sometimes they give you an ad here. Don't worry about that. Just click the home button right here. And this is what we call our Bluehost main page or kind of the cPanel main page. Uh, and from here we're able to do pretty much anything with our website. You may eventually uh, get into things like setting up email or uh, adding a more domain names on or uploading your own files. But for now, we're going to focus on um, installing WordPress. So to do it really, really quickly, we go ahead and go to website, click install WordPress. And what this is going to do, it's going to load up the uh, Mojo uh, script loader. Um, and this is pretty, pretty new to Bluehost. A lot of the videos you see out there are with the old script loader. So I wanted to do one to show you how to use this. Uh, so it says we've got WordPress here. Uh, go ahead and click install. And now it's going to ask us where do we want to install WordPress to? So like what will the domain name be? So uh, if you click from this drop down, you probably right now only have one domain in this list because you've only signed up with one domain. Uh, so go ahead and click that domain name. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go on bosstype.com. Um, that's kind of my main company domain name. And then in the directory, if you want to just go to bosstype.com or westbossblog or whatever.com, you don't need to put anything into this directory. However, maybe you want to put it in forward slash blog or uh, forward slash website or forward slash temp if you're just building it. Uh, so I'm actually going to install it to forward slash blog. So click check domain. It's going to check to make sure you don't actually have any other files there or anything like that. So we'll just give that a second. There we go. Um, now here is kind of where the important part comes in is you can click install now but uh, we want to tweak it just a little bit. So click show advanced settings um, and here's kind of the settings for uh, your website. So my site name, Wes Boss Blog. Admin username. Uh, it's really important to set something you're going to remember here. Uh, it likes to use your email by default, which uh, is great. I'll leave that. And then your admin password. Um, make sure you set that to something that is really secure, as, as WordPress is susceptible to 
uh, people trying to log in with commonly used passwords. So great, I'm just going to make sure I copy that password there. Uh, click I have read the terms and conditions. If you want to give that a read, go ahead. Click install now. And this will take probably a minute or so. Um, uh, you can see right at the top here, high five, your process is underway. Browse the marketplace while you wait. So it's installing WordPress right now and it's going to try to sell us uh, some WordPress themes uh, and whatnot. So uh, here they sell some really, really nice looking WordPress theme. If you're not a web developer, you may want to look into them. Uh, however, I definitely recommend checking out some of the free ones as well uh, before you drop down any more money on that. Uh, so I'm going to say no thanks, I'm a web designer. Um, and I'm just going to wait here while it goes. Oh, it looks like it already finished. Fully done. Uh, so when we are done that, you can click on either view processes or uh, go to your main page and click my installs. And it looks like it's set up, it set it up properly on bosstype.com forward slash blog. Let me open that up. There we go. You can see it's logged in or it's it's set up totally properly on forward slash blog and it's already put some default content and uh, whatnot in there. So to log into a WordPress site, the URL to log in is just go to your URL bar and type wp admin. And it's going to prompt you for your username and password. So uh, let's from see what we did before there. If you ever forget this, you can click lost your password and it will send it to you. So click log in. There we go. Now I'm totally logged in. WordPress is set up. Um, from here you can kind of have a little play around with uh, some of the features of WordPress. If you've never used WordPress before, it's, a, it's another video, but uh, we've got posts here. You can see there's a default post that you can edit. Um, we've got pages where you can add pages to your website. What you're probably looking for is the appearance. Now the appearance is a total customization of your themes. So WordPress comes with three themes by default. You can click customize on the, the one that's already activated and you've got all kinds of really great options here. You can change your site title, the tagline, uh, you can change the colors that are, are being used. Uh, maybe I like to use a little bit of green change the background color. You can change the header image, upload it, background image, all kinds of stuff for it. When you're done, go ahead and click save and publish. Close this down. And if I go to my WordPress blog on the front end, you'll see that those changes have already been reflected. So uh, there's also an option to add new themes here, which will uh, is really great because you can search around for uh, some popular themes, hover over them, click install, and you are off to the races. I just clicked activate there, and now when I refresh this, I've got a totally different theme on my blog. So hopefully that was a really good introduction to you. Uh, remember to use the uh, URL below to get discounted Bluehost hosting, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. See you guys later.